I think it's important to note at the outset that the, uh, the threat of chemical terrorism remains as real and as relevant today as it has ever been. Uh, we can continue to see uh, adversaries around the globe uh, acquiring, seeking out, acquiring, and using in attacks uh, a wide variety of chemicals to include explosive precursor chemicals. We continue to see adversaries targeting uh, chemical facilities uh, around the globe. Uh, I think the threat is made even um, more concerning um, by uh, the continuing influx of uh, fighters returning from the battlefields of uh, Iraq and, uh, and Syria uh, by the proliferation of information uh, about uh, the development of chemical devices um, online, the inspiration uh, worldwide uh, of, uh, of bad actors who may be seeking to uh, use chemicals maliciously. So I think, uh, you know, more important um, now than it has ever been that we come together as a truly unified chemical security community to share uh, information, best practices, and lessons we've all, uh, all learned uh, to uh, combat this chemical terrorism threat. So I think uh, this Global Congress on Chemical Security and Emerging Threats uh, is a uh, really important step to ensure that we are able to effectively share information uh, across our community, uh, a community that, as you, uh, as you note, includes uh, a wide variety of, uh, of disciplines from law enforcement to uh, regulators to, uh, to military to chemical weapons, non-proliferation uh, experts, uh, to the chemical, uh, chemical industry, folks who are on the front lines of uh, securing chemical supply chains and chemical facilities. Uh, so I think to the extent that we can bring together a true global community of actual expert chemical security practitioners, uh, we, uh, will be, we will be making some very, uh, very important strides to ensuring the continuing uh, sharing of, uh, of information uh, across, uh, across our community, information that will be critical to enabling us to sort of stay ahead of the uh, ever, uh, ever evolving threat curve. I think it's important now more than ever to form a global chemical security community because the threat is evolving uh, at a, a rate of speed um, the likes of which we have not seen in the, uh, in the past. Uh, we have uh, technology coming into play. We have evolving threat uh, vectors such as unmanned aircraft systems, drones. Um, we have uh, concerns about um, the, uh, the um, uh, attacks on, uh, on cyber systems at, uh, at chemical facilities. So an area of, uh, of concern we have strived to address uh, in the United States through, among other things, our Chemical Facility Anti-Terrorism Standards Program. Uh, and as, as mentioned previously, um, you know, the proliferation of uh, information about, um, uh, about uh, attack uh, tactics, uh, techniques, and procedures that is available so widely um, through, uh, th through technology via the, uh, the internet and, uh, and otherwise. I think the next step for, for building our community and the next step for this global Congress uh, is to uh, make, it, make our network, make our community um, bigger, uh, and, uh, and better, and to ensure that we are reaching across um, all relevant aspects of that, uh, of that community. And it, it, is, it is a diverse community. Uh, it's for that reason that in my role as a co-chair of the Global Partnerships, uh, of the G7 Global Partnerships Chemical Security Working Group, uh, we have strived to identify initiatives um, to bring the community together, to to bring together actual expert practitioners in the chemical security arena uh, to identify opportunities to, uh, to convene uh, these experts to, uh, to share and to enable them to share information across the, uh, the community. And I think the Global Congress, uh, as I said in my remarks this morning, uh, really hits the mark on all of those fronts. So while it's important uh, that we have diplomats and policymakers uh, at the table, uh, important in terms of building um, political support um, for um, uh, chemical terrorism, um, anti-terrorism anti activities. Um, it is very important as well that uh, expert practitioners uh, in chemical security are talking directly to one another and sharing dir information directly with one another. And that's exactly what this Global Congress does. So um, more, <laughs> better, bigger uh, in the future.